video, we will explain how to complete the file to send to the OFPRA. The OFPRA is the French Office for the Protection of Refugees and Stateless Persons. It is the administration that will look into your application for asylum. When you are an asylum seeker engaged in a normal or fast-track procedure, the préfecture, or administrative center, will give you a form to complete in French. This is the OFPRA form. For a first application, you have only 21 days to send it back signed and completed by registered letter with acknowledgement of receipt. You can also drop it off at the OFPRA office located at 201 rue Carnot 94120 Fontenay-sous-Bois, RERA Station Val de Fontenay. But you will not receive the acknowledgement of receipt immediately. You can ask the SPADA for help to fill in the form and write your story in French. The SPADA has a small budget for translating these forms. The form must be accompanied by two recent passport-sized photographs, a copy of your asylum application certificate, your original identity or ID papers, if you have them, and, if available, any documents supporting your story. Keep photocopies of the file and of all the documents you include in it. If the file is complete, you will receive a letter confirming registration of your asylum application, une lettre d'enregistrement de demande d'asile, and you will have to take it to the préfecture to renew your asylum application certificate. How to fill in the form. Do not make any mistakes in your personal information because it is very difficult to change it afterwards. Give all the information you have on your family. This information will be very important to bring your partner and children to France after a positive response to your asylum application. Specify the countries that you crossed to get to France and, if possible, give dates. Specify which language you speak best so that the OFPRA can send an interpreter for the interview. Under the new law, the choice of this language is made at the time of the registration of the asylum application at the préfecture. Please say so if you have any issues coming to the interview with the OFPRA. For example, if you are disabled or if you suffer from psychological problems or are due to give birth or have surgery planned. Say if you wish to be interviewed by someone of the same gender as you. The last part is your story. Talk about yourself, your personal story, what you went through, why you had to flee, and why you are afraid of going back to your country. The important thing is that your story is detailed, coherent, and without contradictions. You have to be credible and convince the local OFPRA government officer. You can add documents to evidence to complete your story. If you can pay for these documents to be translated into French, it is better. However, these documents are not mandatory, as it is the face-to-face -face interview that is the most important. Very important. If you change addresses during the procedure, you absolutely must let the OFPRA know using their website, or by registered letter with acknowledgement of receipt. In the next video, we will see what happens during the interview with the OFPRA. Here it is. You can also have another look at the video detailing the criteria for asylum here. See you soon.